Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie. I'm the editor in chief over at theserverside.com, and you can follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ. And right now, I wanted to talk to you about how to perform a merge request in GitLab and show you how to merge a couple of branches together using the GitLab admin console. And not just merge those branches together, but after you've done the merge, show you how to go to your local workstation and bring the results of those merge onto your local machine. All things start by logging into the GitLab Administrative Console, which I'm doing right here. And I'm going to go into the GitLab Made Easy project and dig right into the repository and specifically look at the different branches that I've got. Because I've put together this fun feature branch, and this fun feature branch has got this amazing file in it called featurefile.html. But none of the other branches have it. So if I go down to the develop branch, you notice that the develop branch only has the three files plus the readme. I guess that makes four files. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to merge this fun feature branch into the develop branch. Now, I'm going to do this by issuing a merge request. And you can see the merge requests over here. Now, typically, with a merge request, you would have perhaps a developer who wrote the code and created the topic branch, the feature branch asking for a maintainer or some administrator to actually merge their request in. I haven't created multiple users right now. I just have root in my environment. And so I'm going to do everything with root. Um, but let's just imagine that you know there's a developer and a maintainer, and the developer wants the maintainer, someone in the maintainer role, to do the merge. Maybe the developer doesn't have the rights to merge to the develop branch. So how would they actually go and get that fun feature branch merged into the develop branch. Well, what they would do is they would go to the merge request, say, hey, I'd like to do a new merge request. Well, what do you want to merge? Well, there's that GitLab made easy repository, and there's that fun feature branch I've been working on. It's now feature complete. And I'd like to merge it into, whoa, don't merge it into master. That's crazy. That is not Gitflow. We want to merge it into the develop branch, move it into the development branch, and, and then maybe run some Jenkins continuous integration or even use CICD from GitLab to verify everything. And so you click this button, compare branches and continue. And it says, what's the title of this? And, and uh, I'm just going to say feature file complete. little description. Who are we going to assign this to? So normally you would choose somebody who's in, say, the maintainer role, someone who's got rights to merge things into the develop branch to be the assignee. Now, right now, as I said, I haven't put together a whole bunch of users because I want people to be able to follow this tutorial without having to have gone through that process of, of creating a bunch of users. So I'm just going to assign this to root, which is actually me. As you, you can imagine, there's a developer assigning it to, to somebody else. Um, do I want a label? Sure, we'll call it <laughs> there. We go, we've now created a label for it. And as far as merge options go, I do not want to delete the sorch branch when I'm done. And there's no milestone associated with this either. Okay, and so that is the process that you go through in order to create that submission for a merge request. So I'll click Submit. And now that's all done. Now. I'm going to sign out just to kind of emphasize the process here. So now somebody who's a maintainer signs into GitLab one day. They go to their GitLab Made Easy repository, and then they say, hey, look, there's a merge request there. OK, let's see what's happening. Looks like a developer says that the fun feature is complete, and they want it merged into the, well, what branch do they want to merge it into? We have to click on it to find out. 
And it looks like they've got a request to merge the fun feature branch into the development branch. So we can go here, looks like there is no merge conflicts, looks like everything works good. Um, I'm not getting any problems, so I got the green light to merge these together. And so now as the maintainer, I say, okay, indeed, I am going to merge that in. I'm not going to delete the source branch. I'm going to do the source branch deletion in a future tutorial, but I'll click merge. And now all of a sudden that develop branch is at the same merge point as the fun feature branch. In fact, if I go over to the repository, look at branches, I explore the fun feature branch. Notice I've got four files in there. If I go to the repository, take a look at the develop branch now. One, two, three, four, five files. Well, four plus the readme. It the develop branch now has the exact same number of files as the uh, fun feature branch. So these two have been merged together. Again, there's the fun feature branch one, two, three, four, plus the readme for five files. But if I ended up going to the master branch, which is something I'll merge into later, you notice there's only four files in there, three development files plus the readme. So, you know, we've now got two of these branches in sync, but it hasn't affected the other branches. And of course, if you have a, a developer, you know, number of people in the team, they'll all want to sync up. And so I'm going to move into my GitLab repository on my developer machine. And you can see right now I got one, two, three, four, five files in there. That's a feature file. And what branch am I on? So I'll do a git status. And you can see I'm on the fun feature branch. Okay, that makes sense. But what happens if I check out the development branch? Hey, notice I've only got one, two, three, four files here. But according to GitLab, I should have one, two, three, four, five files here. So what do I do over on the client side? Well, I just do a git pull. All of a sudden it says, hey, you know, we've got to update you. Looks like uh, there's some changes on the server. So it's going to pull some changes in that development branch. If I now do an ls command, one, two, three, four, five files are now on the develop branch. So I've actually now pulled those changes and the results of that server side merge request onto my local machine. And there you go. That's how easy it is to perform a merge request in GitLab. Now, if you want to learn more about GitLab, follow along in this series of GitLab tutorials, learn more about Git, or for that matter, anything that has to do with server side development, whether it's Java programming, JavaScript, agile software development, DevOps, microservices, the whole gambit, head over to theserverside.com and please follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ.